right, so today's the day. I'm just about to clean out the, uh, the, the swirl filter behind me here. Now this swirl filter overflows into the other two, two OVCs that you can see behind me. And usually I've got tropical fish in there. And then all of that flows into the aquaponics on both sides. I'll spin this around. And, and then it flows, it, it filters the pond that you can see there. And there's probably about 100, 150 uh, jade perch in there. So it's got a big job. The, this little tiny fella's got a big job to do. I'm asking a lot of it and it's been working well for about a year. So it's time to clean it out. Let's have a look. So as you can see this, look how filthy this muck is. There's so much muck. I'm just emptying it out. I'll just clean it out and then um, it'll be fantastic. I'll just tip it on the ground. It'll be right, just goes straight into the into the ground. I just do this once a year. Realistically, you should do it every month. Um, I haven't got around to it. So in the future I'll do it. I'll do it every month. Pure fish boo. It's about a year's worth of pure fish boo here. And as you can see in the bucket, it's pretty tight. I'll just put that straight on the veggies. I really got to clean this out more often. It's just a little bit of maintenance that you just have to do. Yeah, but it works well. The filter's working well. But what what tends to happen is that this this IBC here becomes also a sediment tank, and this one too is a sediment tank. Overflows into the aquaponics, but I don't want them to be a sediment tank. Um, I need fish in there, so by doing this, I'm going to clean out the sediment as well in the bottom of these two tanks, and that'll get me out of out of trouble and I can put some fingerlings in there.